So hey guys, this is Jamisha Bays more from Coco Twins, coming in to give you a quick design tip for Canva. You can actually use Canva to create an entire design for a journal, t-shirt, whatever item you're looking for. But I wanted to show you guys one quick thing. When searching in Canva under elements and you type in block lady, let me show you the type of images that you will find. All of these images are under the key term block lady. And you can actually take one of these designs and maybe even backwards or maybe even build a sister type thing and this is my first time actually creating this so I'm just freestyling it right now so if I wanted to make like a sister type themed image let's see if I can what she looks like if I flip her and then bring her back in the middle Or whatever you want to do. I don't like those. Let's see here. Let me try her. I might like this one better. So I'm actually using this image in Canva to build a journal design for my website. And I'm going to change the skin tone so that way I get what I want. And maybe let's do it. Sunglasses, maybe make those black. Set this to black or darker black. This. Let's see here. Say, for instance, I want to. Duplicate the gold shimmer. Let's see. So what I did to get them together, I just selected them both and select a group. Now I'm going to copy it across the screen. And then I'm going to move it to the back. I'm going to move her over because I want her, I want a journal and I need a, the front and back cover. And you have the children too. Let me try. Um, huh, maybe that one. She looks cute. Position. Okay, let's make her bigger. And let's refresh our screen. So I have her up. Okay, and I actually want to put a shadow on her, but first I want to set her complexion to what I want it to be. The hair, her lips, her top. We can leave it like that. But I want to make her look like she's popping off the page. So I'm going to duplicate it, and I'm going to change all the colors to black. Then I'm going to increase the size and I'm going to lower the transparency, make it a little bit smaller, and then I'm going to position her backwards so that way she's sitting in the back. I'm going to go a little low on the transparency. Do that on the net more. Want to move that. Now we can even go back to our elements and we can use, let's see, let's look at featured to see what they have here. And say if we wanted to build an entire pick.
maybe give her some butterfly wings and crop it. Let's see. I'll crop it with a little bit of crop. This time I'm cropping it and done. Or maybe make it a little bit bigger. Give her butterfly wings. And I'm gonna duplicate the wings and I'm gonna change everything to black like I did for her body. Back, black, black. Make it a little bigger. Set the opacity down to, or the transparency down to whatever this is. Let's check it. It is set to 16. Let's put everything back. Let's set this to 16. And then let's position it where we want it. And then we can actually, let's group this, minimize the size, we can group these two as well, that and the other shadow, group those so they move together. So if I make that smaller, increase that. See, maybe I'll do away with the gold on you. Let's see, let's lock that in place so I can't make any changes to that accidentally. Delete, delete, delete. I want to lock the other part in place too so I don't make any mistakes. So now I can't move this around. So now I can create my design around it. I'm going to have to unlock it. Oh, no, it picked it up. Okay, delete those out. All right, now if I wanted to do my background, let's see, what do I want to work with? What do we have in here? Let's see, we got shapes. It doesn't allow us to change the color, though, so we don't want to use that one. Let me find... No, don't like that one either. Let's do maybe this one and then change the color here and then position it backwards. And then maybe, let's see here, change the color. Maybe do the white, let's see what the white is, let's work with that. Just make that back to white. Maybe change the colors so that way they match with what we have. Hold on, let me select it. And we can just leave it like that. Let's see, do I want to add another element? Let's see what else is featured. Let's see what else is featured. Now let's position this to the back. See what we get. And 
and now we have a complete design and this is what I actually did with all of them they are all Canva elements and you just saw me build a full page design for a new journal so I just wanted to show you guys that you can actually use um, what you have here in Canva to build a product just by typing in something that you want to look for, for excuse me so like I said before these are all under block lady thank you guys so very much for watching I hope this tip will help you create a design unique to your own style thank you so much bye bye